Hello and welcome to another episode of the Amazon Marketing Cloud Guided Tour. My name is Ashok and I am a Senior Program Manager with the AMC team. In this training, we will be taking a deep dive into Amazon's Events Manager signals in AMC. Over the course of this session, you will learn what exactly is Events Manager, the key prerequisites and setup requirements for leveraging Events Manager signals in AMC, and finally, how to query Events Manager signals within AMC to get a comprehensive view of your campaign performance and measure its total impact. So, let's jump right into leveraging this powerful capability together. The focus of this session will be on utilizing Events Manager signals within AMC. The Events Manager feature on Amazon DSP provides advertisers the ability to import conversion events from sources outside of Amazon, such as websites, offline channels, and mobile apps. These imported events can then be leveraged for attribution, optimization, reporting, and audience creation. Events Manager functionality helps prepare advertisers for a cookie-less world. It allows the passing of hashed email addresses or other identifiers to measure events in cookie-less environments. By accessing these signals in AMC, customers will now be able to perform custom attribution, measure the full customer journey, and unlock various other advanced capabilities that were previously unavailable. This empowers advertisers to gain a more comprehensive understanding of their cross-channel marketing performance and make more informed optimization decisions. Let's look at how the Events Manager data is structured in AMC. At a high level, AMC provides two types of data sets to advertisers, unattributed and attributed. Let's start by looking at the unattributed conversions data set first, that is the conversions and conversions with relevance. These datasets contains events that have been ingested through the Events Manager tool. These are events that are associated with a specific conversion definition, and that conversion definition has also been linked to a DSP order ID. As long as the events satisfy these criteria, the event will appear in these two datasets. Now, let's examine the attributed conversions data in AMC. First, these are events that satisfy all the requirements for inclusion in the unattributed datasets. Additionally, these events also have a corresponding traffic event, either a view or a click that occurred in the 14 days leading up to the conversion state. This data will be available in the Amazon attributed events by traffic time and Amazon attributed events by conversion time datasets. All right, let's dive into the code and walk through how we can analyze the total impact of our campaign using Events Manager signal in AMC. I've already written the code for the demo, but let me take you through the steps I followed. The first step is to gather the campaign cost and impression data. We do this in a common table expression or CTE called traffic. Here we aggregate the impressions and total cost at the campaign and the user ID level. This ensures we don't have any duplicates data when we join this with the conversions data later on. Next, we move to the conversion CTE. This is where we pull in the Amazon attributed conversion events. Now, it's important to note that the conversion event subtype is represented by numeric cards in the data sets. So, we use a case statement to convert those code into the actual event names like add to shopping cart, checkout, and so on. Once we have both the traffic data and conversions data ready, we can join them together using the campaign ID and the user ID. This gives us a comprehensive view combining the impression, cost, and attributed conversion details. These metrics provide the total impact analysis we are looking for. By considering the full scope of conversions, both on and off Amazon, we get a much clearer picture of how our campaigns are truly performing and driving value. Once I click on the Run button, the query generates a CSV output which can be downloaded using the download button here. For the purpose of this demo, I've created a visualization using the CSV output generated from this query. Let's see what insights can we get from the output. The data from the total impact analysis provides a detailed comparison of the performance and impact of two key advertising campaigns, campaign A and campaign B. When examining the Amazon sales performance, we find that campaign A outpaced campaign B significantly. Campaign A was able to drive $1.2 million in Amazon sales, over six times more than approximately 200000 generated by Campaign B. Shifting to the off Amazon sales, we can see that Campaign A drove an impressive $1.8 million worth of sales through non-Amazon channels. Meanwhile, Campaign B was even more successful in converting customers through mobile channels, generating $1 million in non-Amazon sales 
2.5 times more than campaign A. In total, these two campaigns accounted for $2.8 million in sales happened beyond Amazon. While campaign A has the edge in combined sales, the total impact analysis make it clear that campaign B was ultimately the superior performer in converting mobile audience purchasing through direct to consumer channels. These insights highlight the power of the events manager data and the total impact analysis approach with AMC. It provides marketers with a truly comprehensive view of campaign performance, empowering them to make more informed optimization that maximizes the impact of their advertising spend across all the customer touch points. In this video, we took a deep dive into Amazon's events manager signals in AMC. Over the course of this session, we learned what exactly is events manager, the key prerequisites and setup requirements for leveraging events manager signals in AMC, and how to query events manager signals within AMC to get a comprehensive view of your campaign performance and total impact. In summary, by leveraging the events manager signals within AMC, you will gain powerful insights to truly understand the full impact of your advertising efforts across all customer touch points on and off Amazon. I encourage you to put these capabilities into practice. For more details, Please refer to AMC documentation and the instructional query, Introductions to Events Manager. Thank you.